Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited about this video because as you can see, I finally got the Nikon Z6 in the studio, if you will, and I'm just really excited to get into this box and to check out the Z6 and of course the FTZ adapter. So I'm gonna pretty much do that and then I'm gonna kind of give you my first impressions of this new camera as well. So let's get right into the unboxing. All right, let's get into this thing. We're gonna start with the actual camera, I think. Now, of course, you get the typical stuff like this. The instructions and uh, the warranty card and serial number and all that is in the first little pouch. And uh, let's get right to the camera here. Comes in the little plastic bag. And so there's the Nikon Z6 right there. Pretty awesome. I'm so excited to get, you know, get started in using this camera. So let's put that here for now. We also have in the box a strap. Nobody really uses those, at least I don't. A USB-C cable, which is awesome. You've got the new U or, uh, e and EL15 battery, and this is the one that actually can be charged via USB-C. So that's nice. And then a little thing for your ports, I guess. So, you know, I don't know if I'll use that either. And then what's nice, unlike the Sony users that have to go out and buy their own charger, Nikon includes a wall charger as well with this camera, which is really great. Okay, there's that. Let's go ahead and get to the FTZ adapter now. So I ended up not getting any of the native lenses just because I really don't care for them and I'm hoping Nikon will soon release faster lenses. I know they've got a roadmap for faster lenses in the near future, but hopefully that will be really soon. Okay, there's the FTZ adapter. So with camera and FTZ adapter, there's a Nikon Z6 and the Nikon FTZ adapter. All right guys, so I actually have been using the Nikon Z6 for the past few days now, and needless to say, I am really impressed with the Z6. Now, of course, I use the Nikon Z7 as well, and while it did okay, I personally feel that the autofocus, at least in my experience, appears to be better on the Nikon Z6, and I'm not really sure why that is, but it just does appear that way. Also, of course, I don't have any of the native Z mount lenses, so I've been using all of my F mount lenses with the FTZ adapter, and it's been really flawless in my opinion. There's been really accurate autofocus all around, and I've just been really pleased with the performance of this camera. So guys, if you're considering doing hybrid shooting, then I definitely would consider the Nikon Z6. It's a phenomenal camera, and of course, I will be having an initial review come out soon, and then a long-term review as well to let you know what's going on with this camera. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you're interested in picking up the Nikon Z6, go to the link in the description and you can pick it up there. It helps my channel out as well, so that's awesome. Guys, I hope you all have a great day. Balingle out.